of all, congratulations on the return of Veronica Mars. I mean, how does it feel that you're a night away from the movie officially premiering? Is there nerves, is it excitement? It, it, it's a little bit of nerves, as you know, you see the crowds of fans, you see people, you, you know, you just want everyone to love it um, as much as the last person who loved it came up to you. You know, you want every, every reaction to be that good and just better and better. It's very addictive seeing people, you know, and, and knowing that you, you made them happy and that most of all is so personal for them. They, they, they know that they're the reason this film came, this film came about. So um, it's a very, very special, special feeling. And, and aside from the nerves, it's very satisfying. It's very, very rewarding. You know, we, we had a 28 day shoot, maybe a little bit more. Um, but it really feels like we we did an awesome chunk of work. We did a we really brought closure to a lot of things. I think we we really it's very satisfying when you watch the film. So um, I hope they I hope they love it. I know we I know the cast universally loves the film. So I hope they love it as much as we do. What's been the most gratifying part of the past year plus for you, given that this was funded by the fans? This is something that years after the series ended. What's been the most gratifying? Um, really, really just touching bases with a lot of the fans that um, we knew were so hurt when the, when the film was canceled and being able to see them again in this environment, you know, going from being more like, oh, well, yeah, it was great doing the show, and yeah, it was so awesome, oh, man, this one time, it was so great to, well, you don't know, you know, wait till you guys see this, and, you know, have it, 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 it almost feels like we went back to that special time in season one where we were brand new, we were that hot, that hot that hot show, you know, and, and damn, well, we're here again. Um, it's, it's amazing. It's like going in a time machine, and, and it's a dream come true. You know? yeah. When we last saw Weevil, he was kind of teetering on the potential of possibly going back to his bad ways. Where do we find him nine years later? Well, um, that's a spoiler. There's no way to answer that without spoiling a whole lot. Um, Weevil, Weevil uh, a lot can happen in ten years, you know, and, and Weevil wasn't a guy who dealt in... Uh, Anything but okay. extremes, you know. He was a he was a, a go-getter, and he was a survivor. Um, we all knew that that uh, he had a lot of strikes against him, just being born in the neighborhood and the family he was. And he, he, he made the most out of what what, what he was given. Um, I think at the core of Weevil's character, it's about families and, and, and poverty, and the fact that growing up in a challenged neighborhood like that tends to break up families. Weevil, by joining a gang, was trying to repair the the most painful element in his life, which was that the void of, of not having a father or a mother figure in the home, and and really just being the head of his own family, you know, his relationship with his nieces and nephews, and then in, in a parallel to his relationship with the PCHs, he was like the father of a bunch of outcast kids, and um, yeah, yeah, this, this film is really an evolution of that, and uh, I love it, I love what Rob did, and I can't wait to see what's 